Please note, the power morphers in this video are not for sale and most likely will not be for quite some time. Please go to Rangerboard or eBay to get yours. Also, for those who are wondering how much I paid for the power morphers, I paid $60 for the huge lot in part 1. In part 2, I paid about an average price of $70 for mine. Hey guys, what's going on? Ranger Reviewer 07 here, and uh, today we have a new package time. So, uh, Merry Christmas everyone. I think I'm uploading this on Christmas Day. I'm not too sure. <laughs> it's um, it's actually December 10th, I believe. And, um, yeah, I got my knife in hand. And we have some Christmas unboxings. Um, so if you celebrate Hanukkah, Festivus, or Kwanzaa, Happy Holidays. Uh, but I celebrate Christmas. So we have a couple of things. I don't want to... I want to put this down first. Okay, so first things first, we have this really small package from USPS. And everything's falling out. Tons of bags. And the first thing from Christmas, I ordered this a, a while ago off of eBay. Everything here is from eBay, by the way. Is a, hopefully I can put that on for you guys, is a Super Legends. White Ranger, and uh, I kind of needed this just because I don't have an opened one. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. This will go right next to the uh, Tiger Zord on my display, and it should look pretty nice. So that was rather cheap, honestly. I've seen I got this for like five bucks on eBay, and I just saw that they were going for about thirty. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It was a weird au auction. So that was really, again, odd. All right, so we're gonna take these out. Grab a bunch of boxes. I have a lot more stuff that came in the mail, actually. But um, that have nothing to do with Power Rangers, so here we go. This is, I'm trying to focus that. There we go. We got more. Oh yeah, hope I don't break anything. Now this was a very special um, unboxing and uh, well, package time. Um, I got this on eBay really cheap, considering what it comes with. Um, it was a buy it now for a really good price, and uh, it was about 10 minutes into the auction, and I just had to jump on it. Um, there was no hesitation at all, and thankfully, I got paid. And I have to blur this out because I just showed the, the uh, what you call it, the um, that my uh, my friend's address, and uh, terrible packaging in here. Um, inserting if you're a collector, yeah, um, so I'm going to try not to show everything, and I think I'm shield broke, so, let this out, it's like Santa, when I was little, Santa always put it in plastic bags, okay, so, um, here's the first one, we have a, in space, Silver Ranger, 8 inch, yeah, it's pretty decent, um, again, I got a pretty decent right here, um, I don't have that, and I don't collect that, so that's probably for sale. Here's another one. Um, a baddie. Evil Space Alien. Again, I don't need that. I don't collect those ones. Um, another Space Alien, so I'm going to get these out of the way. Again, I don't collect. You can probably see it in the background, actually, what I, why I bought this. Um, another baddie. Yeah. So, honestly, I could create up a whole set of armies. Uh, here we have a pink ranger. That's, is that supposed to be black? It's got a black belt for some reason. And I don't know why. So, oh, it's a, I thought it was a regular 8 inch figure. Uh, I don't, I, I really don't like karate action figures, but, um, oh well, that's going for sale. Um, let's see what else we have. We have a black ranger. Ugh, it's teal. Teal belt. Uh, I don't know. I, I bet you with some um, some goo gone, that should be fine. That's okay. We got a yellow ranger here with a yellow belt. There you are. That's pretty much it. And we still got some, we got a lot more. Uh, we have a green ranger. I'm looking for the shield. I actually when I bought the uh, the other really good lot for cheap. Um, it came with the Green Ranger shield, but I actually sold them to someone in Spain um, for a decent price. I never thought I'd actually have a Green Ranger again. 
so whatever. Got some blade blasters in here. You can see why I bought this again. Uh, we got a Blue Ranger. It's a regular 8 inch one. It has some oxidation on the belt. There we are. Turn your head. There we are. And we have a Gold Ranger. Another like action one uh, with electronics that somewhat works. Face, face to the screen. If I had 3D, that would look pretty cool. Um, some more blade blasters. So if anyone needs blade blasters, let me know. Um, an 8 inch White Ranger. I have another one of these actually. One in better condition and uh, with shields. These ones still have the pegs, so these are pretty good. Not too bad. Alright, so <laughs> spending like three minutes on it. This is the main reason I bought this um, this slot. So here's number one. First reason. Power more for number one. Okay, I'm going to have to see what I can do about that. Uh, but that's Power more for number one. It looks pretty faded. And those sounds are awful. But um, it, it feels like it's been sanded and someone tried to uh, restore it or something. So, um, yeah. And reason number two about this. You got it? Eh, it sounds pretty good. That one actually might have leakage. So, um, yeah, you're not seeing things. I actually got two more power morphers. Um, for the price that I actually bought it for, it's not too bad. And uh, I'll bring out my other power morphers uh, right now. So you guys, so I'm not lying that I... So here's power morpher number one. That's my uh, gold one. Power Morpher number two. Um, that's my silver one that I got a while back. And um, you know the one that's really messed up in the back that has uh, all the rust and melting pieces. And this is my, I like to call this one my Old Faithful because it always works. And uh, the sound soundboard was really good. Only one flaw into it was um, the wire went off and uh, we actually fixed it. So it sounds beautiful in there. So, so that's one, two, three strikes, four. What? Four, and uh, five. So five power morphers. Let me get a cool shot of this down here. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to try to restore that one. So missed it. And so there's a. Those are my five power morphers. And I'm aiming for seven. I want to get one of each power morpher. And um, hopefully I will. I, I honestly think I can do it before, I don't know, probably 2012, uh, 2013, which is really likely. So, hey guys, welcome to part two of my Christmas hauls. Um, so I'm not done. I know I said I was done. Um, but a couple weeks after I actually purchased them and received them, I did receive some more packages. Uh, these ones are pretty important to me, and you'll see why in just a second. Um, so the first one here is another Power Morpher. This is Power Morpher number six, I believe. Let me just grab the other ones from, uh, which we'll call it, from their display. All right, so here we are again. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Um, I did get these uh, Repper labeled by Blind Dropper. Um, I will have a review on that pretty soon. Um, this one is the sixth one and the last one for the Core 5. Now I'm going to need one more to complete my collection because my goal again is to get around seven and probably an eighth um, Power Morphers. And, uh, you know, the eighth one is for, what was it, Always a Chance Morpher? Jesus this one... Alright, so that's, uh, this one works, so um, the only one that doesn't work is uh, obviously this one. Uh, it's a little unfortunate that, the, that it doesn't, and I have another Tyranno coin, and that's like my second one, I think, uh, that's for sale. So, um, we're going to redo this, um, let me see if I can get the uh, thing right. There we are. So here is the Power Morpher. Um, as you can see, it's not in the greatest conditions uh, in terms of... Um, you know, stickers and whatnot. Um, I'll try to repaint this as well. I have one more I probably do want to try to repaint. Probably this one. Um, just because I want to get the, the colors right. 
and uh, to match because it does make it a little bit different. So I just need one more um, power morpher here. Excuse me. One more power morpher to get Tommy's. I never thought I, I'd actually get six, uh, let alone one, because that was a while back when I first started collecting. I, I never thought I'd actually get it, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can see I have a, a dead mouse hat, head, whatever, on the side there. So that's it for the power morphers until next year. Christmas, that's great. Uh, next year, probably February, I should get the uh, the the last one. And then um, this is also pretty huge. Um, you should have seen the original box for this, and it was uh, pretty spectacular. I'm just gonna actually put these to the side because of they are really not doing much justice to this last piece of my collection. Now, when I first started collecting, um, I didn't have a lot of Zords. Um, I think I just had a bootleg Daijujin, and I had a part of the bootleg Dragon Caesar that my uncle got for me a while back. Now then, I have pretty much almost every Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Zord. Now, do we count Ninjor as a, a Megazord or what? I don't know. Or Serpentera? I'll get those. I'll get those. So, uh, here's the last piece I want to get. And uh, it's rather important. And it is the Return of Titanus. Now, uh, as you can see, it's it's pretty beat up. Uh, it doesn't come with the styrofoam, unfortunately. It just comes with a lot of crap in newspapers. I like how the uh, the seller actually put things intact, bubble wrap, and that's how you package something. People. Some more. It looks like the uh, the tail like cannons. Battery cover, pretty nice. He, he uh, sandwich baggied them, that's really nice of him. And this one is the dragon shield that came with uh, the Titanus. Yep, right there. Um, I have another one. Uh, you can see it's a bit different because it's the uh, the crotch piece is actually connected to that one. And uh, that's a bit of a different... No, it's the same sticker. I just wanted to make sure. I'm looking at my dragon... Uh, my dragon Zord right now, and here are the, uh, it smells like smoke from, uh, from the house, um, here's the Titanus head, and uh, more of uh, the other chest piece, I don't know why I said this one, I want to say this is a chest piece, but they're probably the both chest pieces, so, um, definitely, I cannot wait to put this thing together, um, I'm actually do, gonna do another take, when I actually have this thing together, <laughs> alright, so I'll be right back, guys, alright, hey guys, back again, um, Everything is set up, as you can see. We have the Megazord, the uh, Ultra Zord here. First time doing this, um, I actually had to look at JT Mitchell 87's video about it, just because I was a little lost with some things. Um, I put in some C batteries. The electronic works. The electronics work. Um, a little disappointed that it doesn't have um, lights, but that's okay because I'm a big lights fan. Um, Overall, everything came complete. The only things missing were the sleds. I haven't done the uh, the Shogun Ultra Zord or the Ninja Ultra Zord, whatever. Um, but here it is. It, this is pretty epic. First time doing it. You got. I share it with you guys. Oh my gosh, this is this is honestly like a dream come true. Starting out with uh, pretty much all bootlegs uh, about five years ago, and it's come to this. Pretty much everything all together. And it's not bad at all. And something on the bottom, I'll probably put a picture of it. Um, I have the, it has the deluxe um, King Brachio uh, insignia logo, whatever you guys want to call it, on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Thought that was pretty interesting. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So uh, let, let, let's see how this thing rolls. Okay. So there's a little switch over here. I, I know you guys. There it is, right there. Uh, I'll try to. Yep, right there, um, in between the uh, two legs, and I just found out it has a pair of hind legs, um, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so it's going to be rolling. That looks pretty awesome. I was really surprised. First time it worked, uh, the, uh, the co battery compartment looked a little bit uh, acidic uh, with all that blue from the battery leakage. Um, actually, we should... I should have put the uh, 
this thing on, but oh well. Uh, I, I did replace that with the uh, the regular Dragon Zord uh, chess piece. Um, the other one's just chilling somewhere, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to find a new display case because I this this is just getting way too ridiculous for me. Um, so I'm gonna just gonna need Ninjor and Sin Serpentera to finish my uh, my collection of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I should be done. Um, so let's recap, I did get a Titanus for Christmas for myself, and all of these were paid by me, so my parents had nothing to do with this at all for once in my life. We have a Super Legends, I'm going to have to like, focus in on this, one of the ma many drawbacks of working with a DSLR, right there. We got a Super Legends White, doesn't stand all that well. Um, I forgot to mention this, but uh, a couple days ago... I think yesterday actually, I got a Master Zandrid action figure. So um, actually, I found this at my local Walmart that finally put this out. Um, and I think someone was hiding this because it was all the way in the back, and uh, it was all, the last one. And the the logo is actually a little bit off. I don't know if you can see that or not? It's a little bit off from the um, what's supposed to be. And I got three Power Morphers. The first two from the first um, huge lot. I did sell the figures already on eBay. It sold for thirty bucks. So whoever bought that, thank you. That money went to towards uh, Titanus actually. Uh, Power Morpher number one. That is by Blind Drummer fifteen. All these repros. I'm just buying them now from Blind. I'm not going to buy them from repro labels anymore. Highly recommend. I'll do a review of them. Power Morpher number two. And uh, this one doesn't have the electronics. The other one did the one with the Macedon. And the last one, which is all the way back here. Electronics work and everything. Beautifully. As you can see, I already took off the, the stickers and whatnot. They're pretty clean. I hit it up with some WD-40. Got some of the residue out, most of the residue. And then um, pretty much scraped the rest with a, a, a towel. And uh, it's right now prepping for uh, repainting. I'm going to hit it up with a Test Stores Metallic Silver and then one coat of glossy clear paint. So uh, that's pretty exciting. So all I'm going to need for the Power Morphers are just, is just one more. And then I'm pretty much done with the Morphers. If I can get another junked up or a perfectly fine one, I'll probably do a, um, a broken Mastodon Morpher. So that would be complete. Um, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys have a happy holiday to all my Jewish friends, my Christian friends, you know, um, happy Kwanzaa. I don't know who celebrates that really. Didn't want to get into a, a little war with that. Um, happy Festivus. I think I missed that by a day, um, or a day or two. And, uh, that's pretty much it guys for all my atheist friends. Happy something. Um, that's pretty much it. See you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and add, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.